Hey, it's Brian and Sean at the Big Three East here in Daytona, Florida. And today we're here with Brian from Krebs. Brian, it's nice to meet you. Pleasure, sir. So uh, Brian's going to show us this uh, great little AK he's got. So we shot it earlier today out at the 100 yard range and we we're just, uh, we we're knocking the steel plates at 100 yards offhand like it was nothing. And it's, uh, it's a real treat to shoot. So what uh, what can you tell us about it, Brian? Well, this, uh, this is a model of uh, SBR that we make. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark has called it the ass neck. It's got a couple of special features on it. One is something that's relatively new. We have a modular uh, flash suppressor slash muzzle brake. Wow. The Ugh. base flash suppressor is permanently attached to the gun. It's an open four prong with 24 millimeter threads on the outside. Now, a lot of guys don't like open four prong flash suppressors because if they're going to be going through a wooded area or a, you know, an area right. with a lot of vines or whatever, it could get caught. So with this, we have a feature where you can just simply screw on a bird cage onto the top. It indexes just fine on the, uh, on the little spring-loaded plunger there. You now have a closed bird cage. We will be coming out with a muzzle brake that you can simply take this off, screw onto the four prong. So, you know, if you, for times you want to flash suppress, you've got flash suppression. For times you want a muzzle brake, you've got a muzzle brake. That's really cool. This is an example of our key mod rail system. Now, this is the short key mod rail system. This basically replaces the standard furniture on an AK rifle. We also, for standard rifles, we also make a longer one, it's about 11 inches long, that will fit Segas, Vepers, or standard AK pattern rifles. Uh, we also, in this particular model, we've replaced the rear sight with a short Picatinny rail for uh, small red dot type optics. The rear sight has been relocated to the back of the receiver cover, and we've done a lot of gunsmithing in this area down here and up here to make sure that the whole arrangement returns to zero when you take it off. It's still a tool, it's disassembly, but it's on there very, very snug. Very cool. This is our enhanced safety. It's got a, ta a tab on there that allows you to move the, trigger, the safety rather up and down without taking your hand off the firing position. The notch here also acts as a manual bolt hold open. A lot of ranges require the shooters to lock open and show clear. Right. At that point they can do that without just sticking a yeah. chamber flag or a, a exactly. fire case or anything like that. That is cool. It's also got standard collapsing buttstock. For those in the uh, in the in the south during the summertime, we're wearing a t-shirt. We can extend it all the way. Up north, we have something called cold, <laughs> where when you're wearing several layers to keep from freezing to death, you can cheat it in, still have the same apparent length of pull without having to modify your rifle. Finally, we have this particular model has what we call speed load features on it. This is an FN style magwell flange. It's only on one side, but it's also got a reshaped magazine release lever mm -hmm. and a magazine ejection system. So bang, 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 click. You don't have to grab the magazine and yank it out. In the meantime, your free hand is going for your fresh mag in. And the, let the, the magwell flange here avoids you missing the magwell by at least one axis. That in itself is so cool. I didn't realize it, it had that feature when I was shooting it until I was trying to get the, the mag out. And I hit the lever and it pops out and I was like, oh my gosh. What, just, the, what just happened? Yeah, exactly. That yeah. was the coolest thing ever. We, uh, we do get that a lot. And, right. and guys will sit there and... I'll just say hit the mag release lever. They hit it, flip, thump, and they go, oh, that's right. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. So um, this is a great little gun. What's the price point on this? Uh, MSRP on this particular gun was 2630 Okay, great. And, and what's it based off of? Which, uh, which uh, receiver? The base rifle is a Sega rifle, mm -hmm. Russian Sega. We did uh, get a bunch of those in before uh, our uh, commander in chief decided that uh, we couldn't do that anymore. And uh, one other thing I mentioned, I forgot to mention is the fact that you've got a folding stock. Right, yes. So as I mentioned earlier, this is just a thing for sitting on the front porch and answering those early evening drive that's right. that is a, <laughs> <laughs> that is a, That is a nice little package. So that's great. So I really enjoyed shooting it today. And actually, I want to go back and uh, shoot it a little bit more, plus its longer counterpart. So uh, you're they're more great than rifles. welcome. Come on over. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Brian, it was nice uh, meeting you, and I appreciate you taking the time with us. Pleasure was mine, sir. Thank Alrighty. you very much. Thank you. That is so awesome. Okay. Do you see that? No. Watch. Push forward. Oh, wow. Magazine ejection system. That is so cool. Get one of it. You ready? I like it.
Are you the only ones making these? So far as I know, yeah. That is so neat. They're the first ones to make everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. Not quite, but thank you. I appreciate that. All right, now.